Greetings. This is Magic with Tamala Farron, and tonight we are doing a three card reading. So, my suggestion to you is to choose one, two, or three, and we'll get started with this. I'm using the Wicca deck tonight. I love this deck. Been using it now for Oh my gosh, almost 20 years. It's crazy how you can use things, huh? This is actually the second one I bought. The first one is so worn that I had to stop using it. And I found this one in a little store. Was so happy. I haven't seen it since. But for me. Okay, let me see. The first card is the Holy Stone, protection. I want to say that somewhere along the lines you found yourself needing more protection in the sense of not only guidance but in processing and doing more magic and more into your life you've kind of let it slide a little bit so when you're doing readings or you're doing rituals or spells there is a level of protection that you're not putting there for your home there's a level of protection you need to refresh and put more of it's for your safety as well as for those around you it brings it you're a natural sensitive, a natural, I don't want to say trans medium, but you have the connection of knowing when others are there, when spirits are there. And because of this, you're a magnet of sorts. And without this level of protection, anything that comes through there are no boundaries and with having others around you family friends it's not going to be safe unless you up the protection and that's where this is headed your your connection is not only with the spirit world but with the fae and Again, anything negative coming, coming through is going to have free reign if you don't put a stop to it. If you don't put a protection on yourself, your home, your family, everything that you do, it's, it keeps the negative at bay and doesn't allow it within your home or within your readings or your energy. This is something you need to work with and you need to amplify, if you will. Um, you, like I said, you've kind of slacked off on it, not because you, not because you're lazy, but because you're doing too damn much. You're not paying attention. So take the time to literally allow yourself the ability to do the works, everything, refresh, clean, bless, protect, everything. And you'll see a difference and a change in the atmosphere and the energy 
it will literally blow your mind at how positive things will get in the next little while. And that's another thing. When you're drawing in the negative, it's going to enter in all that you do. So it's going to enter into your work. It's going to enter into your home space. It's going to enter into your family. It's going to enter into everything. And everything is going to feel heavy and full of anxiety and stress. And the issues are just going to constantly build. So what you need to do is really take the time to purify, bless, cleanse everything, and then put up the protection. Whether you do it through mojo bags, you do it through smudging, you do it through spells, whatever you do, jars, whatever you do, do it. You will find the difference absolutely escalating in, in positive energy. You will find a complete opposite of how you're feeling right now, how you're run down now, how your energy is really, really low. This will all pick up. So that's what you need to do. And if you've chosen one, that's your card. I'm calling you out. So get it fixed. Not just for you, but for your family and friends as well. Even your fur friends. Come on now. They need as much protection as anyone else. Okay. So that was card one. Card two is crystal ball. And it's insight. Now for this card... I'm feeling somebody who is just experiencing the first emphasis on visions and seeing things. Somebody who is just connecting with the dead, just connecting with their abilities. You've just opened yourself up to a lot of new ways of thinking and progressing and maybe even meditation and you're slowly progressing to learn that you can feel and see things. And this is kind of scary for you because now how do you take it from one, one level to the next? And where does it go from here? This is the thing. With this new ability, it will give you a lot if you utilize it properly. If you use it for personal gain, No, you'll lose it as fast as you got it. If you use it to help others, then it will grow. And you have to stay positive yourself. If you're not feeling well, if you have issues with emotions, if you have issues with negative energy surrounding you, you will not see things properly. You will not feel things properly and you will not be able to make that judgment call. What you need is to work with who you want to be. If you want to read tarot, get yourself a deck that calls to you. If you want to work with the dead, my best advice to you is let them come to you. 
help them out on their terms as well. You have terms by protection first. Grounding first, protection first. Then work with yourself, work with what you're, you're being given. And if you can help others, that's a true bonus. Everything is one step at a time. But I feel this card is dealing with somebody who's really new to all of this. And in that case, you really need to take it one step at a time, learn what you're doing, and process. Process, sorry, that was my son. Process what you're going through. Try doing a lot of reading on the subject. Try opening to some friends that you might think can help or find somebody like me and talk to me and try to get help professionally on how to deal with it. If you are focusing in on the positive, it will progress. It will build. If you are focusing on the negative, that's not going to lead you anywhere. That's going to actually dissipate to your family, then your friends, and it's going to backfire on you hugely. So when you are first processing, oh my gosh, I've seen a ghost. Oh my gosh, somebody was here with me. Or deja vu through a dream. I just saw this. I dreamt this two, two days ago. Things like that. The process will build quickly if it's treated with a positive energy and you will be able to do so much more as long as you are working from within and doing everything to heal yourself and help yourself and your environment. That is the best advice I can give you there. You are looking for advice, you are looking for help, and you need to seriously stop doubting yourself question your sanity, and work with who you are. It's so easy. It's it's a part of you. It's a natural part of you. To allow it to blossom, if you will, is truly a source of of peace and inner knowledge. The wisdom comes from within. Your ancestors are surrounding you. This is a gift that must have been handed down through your family. So maybe talking to your family members. Somebody had it. Somebody used it. And it was very well known in your family for it. Ask around. You'd be surprised, even if you think, oh no, my family's not going to believe in any of this. There's somebody there. It comes down throughout the family. I've learned. So ask. You might find somebody who can teach you right in your own family work with you right in your own family. And if not, seek out somebody who does. Seek out somebody who knows. Be careful. There are a lot of people out there that won't give you the proper introduction to what you are becoming. 
So use your sixth sense, if you will, to find that person. It will happen and things will work out for you. But keep your mind open as well as your heart. It'll process. Congratulations and good luck. I wish you the very best. Number three, the horn god, life source. The energy of the turning of the wheel right now is progressing and we are coming through to Yule, obviously, but the change of the seasons is a force in itself that we literally build our whole year around. And this turning of the wheel is we've gathered, we've got all our stuff for store, and we've processed that it is going to be a long winter. And at least that's where I come from. Um, but it's the turning of the wheel, it's the process. And with this, you feel the energy and this being the winter season for us it is a harsh season on emotions it is a harsh season for those who can't get out due to disability or emotional issues. It becomes where the whole emphasis on cabin fever derives. And you need to emphasize on yourself to live throughout these months to do things you enjoy, to get out there and have fun. And even though it is, and some people find it very depressing in the winter, it's how you take it and what you do with it that makes it better. So if you are feeling the laws of winter, step back and do things for yourself, do things to make you smile, do things that you enjoy, that you will lift your spirit with. Allow yourself the ability to enjoy things. I think this is as strong as, as this connection here is going to get, you need to emphasize on healing for you. It works. Once you start working with things and doing stuff and getting involved again, your energy will pick up, your attitude will pick up, everything will come through for you. And the life force that comes through from all the magic and all that energy around you will focus you and you will allow yourself to be happy again. And that is the card for number three. So I hope you've enjoyed. I plan on doing more videos. I have a couple of magical videos that I'll be posting up, hopefully tomorrow. And I will be putting up a 
lovely, lovely Yule post next week. So you take care and you have a good weekend. Many blessings onto all of you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please click like and subscribe. I'm asking you. I enjoy and thank everybody's support and appreciate all your kind words. Thank you very much. Many blessings.